In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up an audio interface, a webcam, and a microphone with OBS on Linux. You might have heard some horror stories about installing audio drivers on Linux, but in the case of this Focusrite, we've just installed them. And the same goes for most Logitech webcams. Plug them in and you're done. Drivers are built into the kernel. Welcome to Linux. This is an XLR cable, and you can only plug it in one way. Well, you know what? You could theoretically plug it in another way, but only once. Same rule applies to the microphone. You push it in, and you give it a click, and you're done. Before we even think about streaming, I want you to grab a copy of Audacity and tap that record button, because we need to set up the microphone gain. You want to be somewhere around minus 12 dB when you're talking normally, with the peaks being somewhere around minus 3. Welcome to Pavu Control. We have our interface and we need to tell it what to do. I'm going to do that by setting the Scarlett Solo USB in the configuration tab to analog stereo duplex, so it's got audio in, audio out, and most webcams have a microphone, so we need to go ahead and cut that off. The OBS wiki has information on installing OBS for most common Linux distributions. You got your Ubuntu's and Men's, your Arches and your Manjaro's, Fedora's, you even got one for OpenSUSE, and of course Debian. That's what I'm running, but if you're running Debian, do yourself a favor, and I want you to head over to the Deb Multimedia repo, get that set up, get that enabled, then install OBS. If you have a Chromebook, you are very much just out of luck. You could install it, but that's about it. This message is from the OBS development team. It's not supported and it doesn't really work. The first time you launch OBS, you're gonna be greeted by a handy configuration wizard with three optimized presets. Ignore it. Let's head into settings and take a look under the hood. Starting with general, you got themes, you got system tray settings, a bunch of other stuff, but moving on to stream, this is where you're gonna set up your streaming service. For this example, I'm gonna be using Twitch so, you know, I would leave the server on auto and uh, just pop in my stream key. The output tab is where you set your stream quality. Since I have an NVIDIA card, I'm going to leverage NV encode. And since this is Twitch, I'm going to be setting my bitrate to somewhere around 6K. The audio default is 160. And while that's perfectly serviceable, you can set that to anything you like, but try to keep it above 96K. Moving on to audio, we are going to set the sample rate to 48K and channels to stereo. Then we're going to do something that's more of a personal preference, and that's disabling global audio devices. I'm going to set my desktop audio and mic aux to disabled. Since we're streaming to Twitch in this example, I'm going to keep my base resolution set to 1080p and output set to 720. Bicubic is fine for a downscale filter, but feel free to experiment with this one. Since you will more than likely be streaming games, it's a good time to go ahead and set your common FPS value to 60. Moving on, we have hotkeys. They're for assigning actions like switching scenes and activating sources with your keyboard. Then we have the advanced section where you can set the color format and space. NV12709 partial will get the job done. Default settings, good job there. Let's start by adding two scenes, one for our webcam and one for our game stream. Once that's done, we need to add some audio. Select Audio Input Capture from the Sources Plus menu and name it something creative. After that, select your Audio Input Device and click OK. Now, if you talk into your microphone, you should see audio jumping around in the left view meter. We're going to fix that by right-clicking in the Audio Mixer and selecting Advanced Audio Properties. Here, we're going to click on the Mono button, so our microphone audio will be on both the left and right channels. You can see how that works by looking at the view meters. Now, we need to set up Audio Output. Select Audio Output Capture and give it a wholly original name. This is going to capture your game audio, background music, YouTube videos, and the like. Adding a webcam is as simple as clicking plus on the Sources menu and selecting Video Capture Device V4L2. Give it a name that will inspire fear in the hearts of your enemies. Since this is an old USB 2 webcam, I'm going to change the video format to YU12 so I can get more than 5 frames per second. This is probably something that you're going to want to do as well. Resolution is going to be dependent on what type of camera you have or your personal preference. This one maxes out at 720p. There's also a gang of options down below to fine tune these settings for your webcam and feel free to play around and experiment since you can always reset them to default. 
In this example, we're going to capture Vulcan powered Quake. Before we do that, we need to copy the webcam and audio from our main scene into our game scene. Right click and copy, switch to games, right click in sources, and paste as reference. From there, I'm going to debiggen my webcam by clicking and dragging in a corner. Then, we're going to add window capture. Give it a name that will be remembered by historians for centuries to come. Now we have to select the window to capture. In this case, Quake. From here, you have the options to capture the cursor, include borders, and swap red and blue. Now we need to move our game capture below our webcam. Select game cap and sources, tap the down arrow, and move it to the bottom. Adding stream alerts in chat, relatively straightforward. Go to whatever service you use, uh, Streamlabs, stream alerts, whatnot, and grab the provided URL after you have them set up. In OBS, we're going to create a browser source. We're going to give it a name that will be visible from the International Space Station. Then we're going to copy that URL into the, yeah, you guessed it, the URL field. And let's press OK. Now we have stream alerts and or chat. Hey, why not both? It's amazing. Yet somehow slightly terrifying. You can, of course, adjust the size and position. That's it. You are now armed with some basic OBS on Linux knowledge. You know, just enough to be dangerous. And speaking of dangerous, bad segue. If you like what we do and you want to support us, uh, head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Become one of these lovely people you're seeing scrolling by on the screen, keeping us loud, live, independent, and all the other fun stuff. We even throw in some bonus goodies. I'll see you there or in our Discord. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time, just get out there and make something awesome.